I just wanted to give y'all a update on, on my beehives. Here's the bees coming in and out of the tubes. They're um, got a lot of pollen on their legs, as you might can see. As they're, it's a warm day. It was very cold yesterday. They didn't go outside much, but today's warmed up and they're really active. I got these covers over the hives so that it'll make it nice and dark inside more like a natural hive but here's the first hive and it's got a lot of comb built all the way from the top to the bottom down here on both sides now they have started capping it off up here and I think what they are doing is they're just stockpiling the sugar water uh, all of these cells seem to be completely full of sugar water and they're capping them off so I've decided to stop feeding them any more sugar water for a while until they've kind of used up some of this because I think I'm overfeeding them right now. So this is the second frame over here. They haven't really done as much in this one. They have started building the comb out from the second one at the entrance. They're working a little bit, bringing it through. The opening there so they they're steady building I haven't found the queen yet I think she's still in the back it's hard to see back behind here but there's two layers back behind here that you can't see so I also wanted to give y'all a an update on how I the queen was released I, I didn't video the queen being released and so I wanted to update you on how that progress went the queen was originally in this little box here the uh, the box has an opening on each end of it and one end has a cork in it and the other end has this wax you can see a little bit of wax in it right there on the end still but this end is plugged with wax so that the the queen will eat from the inside and the bees will eat from the outside and eventually they'll make an opening for the queen to escape from and go into the hive um, they told me that after three days if she hasn't eaten her way out of here that i need to remove the cork on this end to let her out so it, after three days she was still in here they had almost eaten all the way through but i decided to go ahead and release her she was in this box here the box is inside there and this was mounted on the side so when I got ready to, to take her out I, I put this door in here closed that off where I could take this outside with and there was a bunch of bees in there with with her and so I opened this up took this out removed the cork put it back in there closed it up brought it back in the house mounted it back on there, removed the door, and then after a few minutes, the queen came out of the opening from the, where the cork was and went, went into the hive. And after a, a day or so, then I, I closed this back up and put a screen on there and removed this. So now the queen is in there working away. I wanted to mention sometimes uh, when they release the queen, the queen may leave the hive. And sometimes when she does that, she'll she'll take the part of the hive with her, or she she may take the whole hive with her. And in order to make sure that that didn't happen, I installed something called a a queen excluder. And this is a little screen that has slits in it that are just far enough apart that the bees can get through it, but the queen can't because the queen's larger, so she can't fit through the grooves in it but the uh the worker bees can and i've installed that right down in here if you look right in there you can see there's a yellow one in there see the little slats that's the queen excluder and so on the other side of that is where the tube that goes outside so that prevents her from leaving the hive
giving you another look at the, the hive here. It's going to give you a close up of the, uh, the comb that they're capping off. You can see the combs that's not capped. You can see how shiny it looks inside it. That's from all the sugar water. If you see some of the cells that look real dark, I think those have got pollen that they're storing pollen in some of the darker looking cells. So hopefully it won't be too long they'll start making some honey and laying some eggs. I haven't noticed any eggs on the outside section here. Uh, she may be laying the eggs on the other side that we can't see. I wanted to show you my printers. You may hear the noise that they're making. I'm uh, printing some more beehives over here. I'm going to make a video on how I put all the hives together. Because it's a bunch of different parts that go together. That one's printing a side piece there. And here's another printer I have that's printing some pins that, that hold all the, the sides together. So that one's printing those. I also wanted to take you outside and show you where the bees come in from outside. There's a little uh, porch out there on the outside. And I'll take you out there right now and show you what that looks like. Okay, this is outside the window where the bees are going in. There's a 3D printed little porch right here on the side of the window where the bees can go in and out. It's attached to the tube that's on the inside. On the back side where the tube is, I put some Vaseline on the back of it to try to prevent ants from crawling up and going inside the tube. I've known some beekeepers to have a problem with the uh, ants getting inside their hive and then they have a hard time getting rid of them because there's no way you can poison them or anything without harming the bees. So this is what the outside looks like. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you liked it and you want to see more hit that subscribe button and then click the notification bell and you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.